Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 32. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 3, Section 3.5, click on the link below the video. All right, uh, we're going to come back and do this problem at the top in just a moment. Here, we're going to solve this problem right here. Maybe I'll go like this. Alt W G to zoom into selection. All right, um, this is section 3.5, so we're doing increase, decrease, and rate of change problems. Here's a word problem. The value of Iowa farmland increased 4.3% this year to a statewide average of $1,857 per acre. How much per acre did the F Iowa farmland increase this year round to the dollar? All right, we'll use our word problem rules. Read the problem slowly. Anytime you see a new detail, you list it. All right, value of Iowa farmland increased 4.3. All right, so increase 4.3, that is the rate of change. Rate of change, that's the notation we've been using in this chapter. And I'm going to say what the rate of change is. It's the So I said the amount of value increase in land, or something like that, equals, and I'm going to format as I type 4.3. As soon as I type a percentage, that says, hey, that's a percentage. All right. This, so for, increase that much this year to a statewide a average value of 1,857. Well, if it increased to this amount, then that's the end amount. So I'll do um, end. That's our notation. I'm just going to say land instead of acre and stuff like that. All right, so that's the end end value. We know what that is, 1,857. I'm going to add some uh, currency. Uh, control Shift uh, four or this right here. Right. All right. How much per acre did the Iowa farmland increase this year? So our goal. Calculate how much it increased. So we have to calculate amount of land value. I think I must have spelled something wrong there, so I hit F7. I don't know what that is. All right, there's a requirement to the requirement, man, I cannot type. The requirement, oh, round to the dollar. F7, oh, look at that. All right, let's draw a little picture, too. Pictures always help. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to add, um, like this color, I'm going to put an all border. So OK, so the big, since this is an increase problem, it's land, value went up, the big number is going to be the end value, right? So I'm going to say end, and then I'm going to get that value right there. Now there's two parts, and they don't have to be exactly visually proportional, but uh, it looks like, yeah, one part's going to be pretty small, so I'm going to highlight two of these outside, and then there'll be another part. All right, uh, oh, um, well, we don't know either one of these. We know the end, but we don't know either one of these. Hmm. All right, now watch this. I'm going to know I'm going to list the rate over here and then the two parts that make up the rate. I'm going to use the same color. So I'm going to click there and watch this. That button copies just formatting. So I click it, and then I click just in the top cell. Boom. So now, and if, it, if that's annoying, you can change the color. But here we go. I'm going to call this. Now, the trick is, again, if you're going up, that's an increase. The rate is going to be bigger than the base rate. The base rate's always a hundred percent. So in this case, we're going to put uh, rate, and I don't know what that is. Uh, we know what the amount of change is, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Or the uh, rate of change. We know. Oh, we're given that, so I'm going to say this. Just trying to fill out the pieces here, right? Uh, maybe I'll even put, I know what I'm trying to calculate for the dollar amount. It's the amount of change. And uh, 
this would be what? If the end amount, oh yeah, this would be the begin amount. So again, we're just drawing a picture to help us. All right, so rate, rate of change. Ah, since it's an increase problem went up, it went up from what? Uh, base rate, and that's always going to be 100%. Whether it's an increase or a decrease, it'll be 100%. All right now, OK, let's go ahead and try and figure some of this out. Right off the bat, we learn, well, we can see visually, and that's the advantage here. We know that these two parts will always equal that. So we can calculate rate, right? So I'm just going to type rate here, and I'm going to do a formula. And our formula is what? Uh, rate equals 1 plus rate of change. That was from our last video. I we had a long video about all the formulas. All right, so 1 plus this. Now check this out. Here's a cool thing. This is our formula, right? But this is a picture. Now you can kind of sketch this out. And from this, even if you forget this, you can say in your head, uh, oh yeah, I can add this to get this. Right? That's why we kept, in the past video, we changed the colors when we got to the rates and the dollar amounts. But it doesn't matter. What matters is that this and this are the same size, and this and this are the same size, this and this. All right, so we add these together, we get our rate. Or you could remember the formula, all right? All right, well, OK, so now I have this right here. Oh, look what happened. I said this. I don't know where that for. Oh, I got it. I know. When I copied this over, of course, it was polite. It got the uh, um, currency from that. No problem. I'm not tricked. I go up. I don't even have to click general first. I can just go straight to percentage. It'll, white, it'll put that percentage on top. All right. Uh, now what can we do? Oh, well, our goal is to figure out the amount of land uh, increase that would be the amount of increase, but I don't, I don't have a direct way yet. So I'm going to take rate and this, and our formula to calculate the begin amount. We could call this beg, and we didn't write it up here because it wasn't an input. But we'll say beg equals um, all right. So the value at the start of the year. OK, well, so we know our formula for begin. And it's always going to be n divided by rate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Equals, actually, why don't I, I want to be explicit here. I forgot I, I want to bring the n value down here so I can see in the calculating error. So I'm actually going to point to this 34 and right click insert. Or that would just write like this, insert. That would be fine. Or you could take all of this, highlight it, and that's the move cursor right there. And I can move it down. So right here, I'm going to say that was the end value. Okay, so now I explicitly show these here, and that's kind of nice when you're, you're building something to make calculations. So it's equals the n divided by the rate. Ah, so now we have the begin value. Now, I want to round this in a separate cell. So I'm just going to cheat and go equals that up there. And now I'm going to do a formula. And I just all I want to do is round it. So I'm going to say uh, round here. Now, what round to what? To the dollar. Well, we had studied that earlier in class. If you're going to the dollar, we have to put a 0. We have to tell the round function the position to round to. And I'm going to get that value. And the position to round to is num digits, 0 for dollar. And I'll put a little uh, formatting there, too. All right. Um, oh, so what was the, the goal? Amount of the, the value of the increase. And I could come over here and do this now, right? And actually, over here, I'm going to take this uh, 0, 1, because the problem was set up to the dollar, right? So we have that there. 
Ah, but really we want the amount, no problem. We can calculate the amount of change. And that's just simple subtraction. Oh yeah, n minus begin. So n minus begin. 77 bucks. Now I want to check this before I write my answer. And here's a problem, and you do want to be careful. We rounded this, right? Now it might work the way they set up the problem. Um, but I want to be careful. Um, let's go ahead and check over here. And there's a bunch of ways we could check this. I'm going to check. I want to solve for the rate of change. That was a, a, a given number here. I want to see from these inputs if I can calculate. Well, what is rate of change? Well, the amount, so rate of change would always be the uh, amount of change, and you compare it to the begin. So if I did it this way, so I'm sorry, the right here. Uh, I'm sorry, right here. So I took the amount of the change and I compared it to the begin. Now notice I get a bunch of uh, decimals. And now when I do this, I'm a little suspect. I'm like, ah, oh, wait a second. Um, I didn't say anything about that they rounded this. So I'm going to check it a different way. And the way the problem here was the answer given was this because we used that 4.3 to get rate. And then we use the rate and this to get our begin value. So really, that's the number. If I'm checking the problem, I don't want to use the rounding number. Now, the answer has to be given. You know, And for taxes and stuff like that, there's a lot of times where you just have to round to the 0. But So I'm not going to do that one. That one's I'm going to put uh, not uh, used. But here, I'm going to uh, make sure I check it without the rounded answer. All right. Oh, but I don't have that number. No problem. I'm going to calculate the amount of change. What was it? And, and actually, rate of change, the formula is simply end divided by begin, not the rounded one, minus 1. And there we go. So the, the rate of change formula that we learned last video is always end divided by begin. And what is end divided by begin? That's rate. And then we always subtract 1, and that gives us rate of change. All right, um, so let's write our answer in words. Something like, on average, the Iowa farm line increased by amount of 77 bucks. All right, uh, next video, we will do markup and markdown. See you next video.